back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're old, welcome back. And if you like what you see, click subscribe, like, comment, let me know where you're at, what you're doing, what you want to see, things like that. So today is just kind of like a little mom support video. We are sitting here, it's April 7th, 2020, and the entire world is homeschooling. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have kids. If you don't have kids, maybe keep watching and share this advice with family members that do have children. So, if you follow my page, you probably know that we recently started homeschooling before this whole coronavirus thing happened. Um, my child has been in Florida virtual school now since January of this year and we love it. My other child has been in public school. I was going to let him finish out public school because he's in fifth grade and here in Florida we go to middle school in sixth and he's probably my child that isn't going to homeschool as well as the other. So I kind of want to give him options. I don't want to force him to do anything he doesn't want to do when it comes to the homeschooling. Um, my daughter's homeschooled because she asked to be homeschooled because middle school sucks i mean it sucked back in the 90s when i was in middle school that shows my age um it still sucks today in middle school so anyways you know i'm seeing a lot of facebook posts from my friends and text messages from friends and family members and i kind of just want to put this psa out there and maybe kind of think about it maybe take some ideas into your own home so i'm sure a lot of you guys are experiencing you guys have been sent homework from school or you have to get on i ready or some sort of reflex math or zoom or something right your kid has a list of things they have to do every single day in order to keep up to date with their public school or private school or wherever they're going to school at you will find that, you know, typically when your kids are going to school, they're in school for, what, six to eight hours, depending on your state and your county, and you think that they're busy learning the entire time. Well, let me tell you this. There's a lot of fluff in school, and go back to school, think about your school days, about how much fluff time there really was. So now your kid is home, and they're finishing their schoolwork in an hour or two, good, and now you're like, well, what the heck am I gonna do with them? Okay, so let's have a real conversation here. Homeschool is not meant to keep your kid busy for eight hours a day. I mean, even us adults that work full time, majority of us don't work for like a full eight hours. We have other things going on in our day. Um, we have lunch, we have meetings, we have different things that we do. Like I'm self-employed. I don't work eight hours a day. I don't even know how I could work eight hours a day. Like that's a lot of work. Think about that with your kids. Think about that with your kids. Okay. So the kid doesn't need to be sitting in front of the computer, learning math and reading and science 24 seven. They just don't. So let's think of some alternative things that we could do with our children. Like today, for instance, I am on my way to Publix, our local grocery shop, and I am fearing the Corona. Ugh, I have my, I have my mask, my homemade mask, my mother-in-law made for me. And we are going to do baking projects and dinner project tonight because my kids are 13 and 11. They need to learn how to cook. They just do. They need to learn how to cook. That is something public school doesn't do anymore. At least here in Florida, there is no more home ec. There is no more shop. They've replaced all that with testing classes. We started gardening. Down below in the description box, I have my link for our gardening day. We are keeping up with that every couple days. That is important and vital to life and society. School does not teach that. So as we're sitting here, and trust me, I am bored. I have made TikToks. I have updated my YouTube. I have updated my Facebook. I have contacted clients. I am bored out of my mind. But 
let's keep them busy with things we're actually going to use in real life. Things to think about. You know, what do you wish you learned in school? Or what does school not offer that you wish they still offered? I, on hand, can think of two classes. One is home ec. I mean, the other night my husband was making things on a sewing machine. 37-year-old grown-ass adult man who's former military, big guy, knows how to sew because of home economics in middle school. Typing, computer class. Like, these kids get computer, but are they learning how to type? No. My kids don't know how to type properly. Time to teach them moms, dads. Get them interested. What are they interested in? Like my son, he wants to be an animator someday. So I'm putting him in front of some more YouTube tutorials and doing some drawings, things like that. You know, really take this time to get to know your kids. This is definitely a stressful time for everybody, but let's make the most of it. And that doesn't mean that they need to be busy eight, nine hours a day. I lock my kids at home, they're teenagers. And I'm going to the grocery store and my son is on Xbox and my daughter's watching some TV. They're taking some brain breaks. They need breaks. They're stressed out. They don't know what's going on. They miss their friends. But take this time to teach them a little bit about life. It's just so important. And be kind to your kids right now, okay? If they fail that test online, it's not the end of the world. They will make that grade up. Heck, most likely their teacher will reset the test for them if you ask them to. Everybody is under a lot of stress and the kids hide it. I'm finding this out with my kids. They hide it so well and then they snap. They just do. So keep an eye on your kids. Homeschool ideas for today. Go to Pinterest or go to Google and Google some recipes. Today we're gonna make chocolate chip cookies gonna make some chocolate chip cookies. We're gonna make some like loaded salads tonight for dinner, something really fresh, something really healthy. I told the kids to give me a couple ingredients they want so I can go buy it. They're not coming with me. I'm not exposing them out. Um, we have a very strict like head of household rule here in our area and I am abiding by it. I don't want to be there but unfortunately we do need some groceries. Think of something creative for your kids. What do they like? Does your kids like to shoot a BB gun? Go out and shoot BB guns. Go shoot some cans. Do your kids like to draw? Go and find some YouTube videos that help the kids learn how to draw. I had to do that because I can't draw. Do your kids like to make things with their own two hands? Look into that. Amazon is still working. I know a lot of us, our incomes have really been cut. I, for one, my income has been cut from this. Um, thankful I do have an income still, but it's definitely not what it was. So there are affordable ways to make this happen. Pinterest it, YouTube it. Get with your kids. Don't let them lock themselves in the bedroom all day. That's not good for their mental health. If you have some ideas, I would love to hear it because I am definitely no way a homeschool pro. Just, just don't, I'm not a homeschool pro whatsoever. So if you have ideas, can you please comment below, like this video, hit subscribe. I do a lot of different types of videos. A lot of it's family oriented. Gonna be doing more homeschooling videos with our journey because our journey has just started. And I'm super excited about it. And I hope that, you know, everybody finds success in these next couple weeks. I hope everybody's healthy and they're staying away from any sort of germs and that everybody in their family is healthy as well. Lots of prayers to everybody. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.